Well, it is time now for your questions and some and honest, honest answers. answers. <laughs> Joanne says, my husband and I were happily married for 37 years. Every single night I prayed to God thanking him for my husband and the life that we had together. I asked God to never take him from me for I had hoped that we would grow old together. And one day out of nowhere, my husband was diagnosed with a terminal brain tumor. I was devastated and I felt like my sincere prayer must not have meant anything to God. If God only answers prayers according to his will, what difference does prayer make? Uh -oh. I think the thing we've got to remember about prayer, that prayer changes us. As we're praying, a lot of times it's us that needs to, you're not going to change God, you're going to change yourself. And you know, you've had a tragic loss, but you know, like it or not, people die. I, this last year, we've had any number of people who were dear friends who died. And, you know, death isn't the worst thing. I mean, death takes people to heaven if they know the Lord, and they're in paradise in blessing. So you say, well, I, I prayed that God would keep that person. You, you don't know what's going to happen between the time you start praying and the time that loved one leaves this earth. You don't know what would happen. You, you see a young child and you think, well, isn't it tragic, you know, that child was hit by a car and died. Well, what would he or she have done in that interim period? Would they have forsaken the Lord? Would they have gotten in, in trouble? Would they have gone to prison? What would have happened? Well, God knows all those things. And what you do is trust the fact that he is benevolent. He knows what he's doing, okay? Amen. Well, David writes, the Bible says we are to love the sinner and hate the sin. Jesus sat with sinners and ate with them and delivered Mary Magdalene. I was watching a show and saw a segment about a cake baker who refused to make a cake for a gay couple. The host on the show said he felt the cake baker should love the sinner and walk like Jesus did and bake the cake. Your thoughts on this stance? All right. First of all, uh, the Bible doesn't say what you said it said. To, to my knowledge, and I, I may be wrong, I, uh, you can call me and say, no, no, it's found here. I don't know anything in the Bible that says you're supposed to uh, love the sinner and hate the sin. It's not in the Bible. If it is, I don't know. You said the Bible says. Do you, you, I, I'm not familiar with any, yeah. that appearing in the Bible. Yeah, I'm not either. So I no. think, first of all, you're wrong in your scripture. But secondly, uh, and the question is, there's a cake baker. Now, he's a, he's a creative artist, and he makes these beautiful cakes. So this gay couple wants him to uh, bake a cake. Now, what does the Bible have to say about the gay couple? Well, it says that nobody who is immoral, who is engaged in fornication, adultery, homosexual, or catamine will enter the kingdom of heaven. So the cake baker says, what you want me to do is make this beautiful thing and use my skill to create something that may well have the, uh, have the effect of sending you to hell. Now, all that baloney about love the sinner and all that stuff, I mean, that doesn't apply. That cake baker was right on, and now the, the, the state is trying to force him to do what he feels is wrong. And the Supreme Court right now is considering it, and I think they're going to come down on the side of the cake baker. All right, what's next? Katrina says, I go to a church that says if you wear makeup and jewelry, you will not go to heaven. Please speak on this. There's nothing in the Bible that says any such thing. We're, we're not, it, it warns women about adorning themselves, because you should adorn yourself with a humble spirit and a, and a, a, a heart of compassion and and righteousness and so forth. And that's the adornment that the Lord is saying for the ladies. But the idea is that you wear a piece of jewelry going to hell. There's nothing in the Bible that says that. And uh, I think these churches go overboard. And, uh, you know, so I, I think good looking ladies are kind of nice. <laughs> I don't know why we have to make them all look drab. If I go to a desert island, I'm still taking my lipstick. <laughs>